want love. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is considered to be one of the most haunted cities in America. The Battle of Gettysburg is widely considered to be one of the deadliest and most significant battles to occur during the American Civil War. With this small town caught in the middle of the conflict on both sides due to its strategic position along the Lincoln Highway. With such an intense battle taking place between two armies here, and the amount of lives lost during this conflict, it's safe to say that this town is rife with ghost stories and hauntings of the past. Tonight's investigation will be taking us into two of its well-known haunts, the Jenny Wade House and the Gettysburg Orphanage. Our first stop in this investigation takes us to the Jenny Wade House. Mary Virginia Wade, also known as Jenny Wade, grew up and lived on Breckenridge Street in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Her and her mother worked in the town as seamstresses until the war reached Gettysburg. They fled their home in anticipation of the coming battle to stay with Jenny's sister, Georgia McClellan, not only for their own safety, but because Georgia was very pregnant, giving birth just an hour before the Confederate Army arrived in town. The Wades and the McClellans made and served bread and water to the nearby Union forces as part of their patriotic duty to serve the North. In the early morning of July 3rd, Jenny began working to knead a batch of dough so they could provide food for the soldiers. On that same morning, Confederate soldiers began firing upon the north side of the house, which was hit by over 150 bullets. During that barrage, a mini ball passed through two doors and struck Jenny in the shoulder, penetrating her heart and ending her life at around 8.30 a.m. on July 3rd, 1863. Some authors and historians speculate that the shot was fired intentionally by a Confederate sharpshooter, but no one knows for certain if the bullet was actually meant for Jenny. Jenny Wade was the only direct civilian casualty during the Battle of Gettysburg. She was temporarily laid to rest in the backyard of the McClellan House in a coffin originally intended for the Confederate General William Barksdale. She would eventually be relocated to her final resting place in the Evergreen Cemetery in Gettysburg. So initially going into the house, it, it felt very tame. We really didn't have anything going on for the first 20 or 30 minutes downstairs. So we decided to start the actual investigation and filming upstairs in the bedrooms. All right, for spirit talk. Uh, we oh, oh. Uh, oh, hello there. Hey, that's the first time I've seen mine go off or heard it. Yeah, that's hers. In the process of setting up my cameras and getting all the angles adjusted, the REM pod started going off. We hadn't asked any questions or trying to get any kind of responses. We were just setting up equipment, but apparently something there wanted us to know that it was there. Did you make this one go off as well? Oh, oh, oh shit. Wow. Did it go off? Yeah. Oh, shit. Thank you. How about both at the same time? Can you do that? It'd be pretty incredible if you could set them both off. Oh, oh there's one. Okay, 
can you do the other? Not that one, the other one, please. different light. If you're in here with us, maybe if you're over in that room, can you walk over towards us, please? We just really want to know that someone is here. You can touch any of the lights or just walk over towards us. We're friendly. We mean no harm. We brought a bunch of toys for you to play with. A bunch of cool lights. Which one's your favorite? I came here a long time ago and got a picture of a little girl in a mirror over in that room. Is she still here? Could you make one of these light up if you are? Man, it's like instant. Mm -hmm. I know, it's very it's so eerie. Weird. It's hard to tell if it's like intelligent or residual. Right. Yeah. You I know? think a little bit of both. Yeah, because it's like sometimes it's like answering almost and then it's it's like I don't really feel like a something active. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like some places the orphanage you step in, it's like boom. Mm hmm But it's kinda like we're just but then, you know. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. Yeah. We have a device that can give you a voice. We, we'll be able to hear you talk. Can you light up either of those devices if you want to have a conversation with us? I just heard like a giggle behind you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A giggle? Yeah, like a... <laughs> but it's hard to tell if it's coming from outside or not. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the street's right there, though. Yeah. I see it's behind you. Is there someone behind me? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's another question. Well, we heard you. We just want to know if you can come closer to us. We can have conversation with you. Is there a child in the room over there? There's another little device you could a toy you could go play with that's in there. We were also told today that the women here might not like us redecorating their houses, but we want to let you know that these will be these devices that we've set up today, they will be leaving after tonight. So you can come and hang out with us and talk, and at the end of the night we'll we'll take them out of here for you. Oh nice. You guys want to use the spirit conjure for a second? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. To anybody who's here in the house, maybe if it's Jenny or if it's any of the children, this toy, this tool that I have right here, it will be, it'll be able to, yeah, you want to use it? Oh, wow. Sweet. It'll be able to give you a voice. So if you actually say a word to us, maybe... Maybe we'll be able to hear it more clearly than if you were just talking. So I'm going to start this. Can you tell us who's here with us? Maybe if you're a man or a woman, a boy, a girl. Who's here with us? Healing. This is like a, basically this is an obelisk too. Mm -hmm. It runs on the same technology. Basis. Yeah. Okay, so what are you feeling? Now, honestly, we just really want to know who we're talking to. If you can tell us that. Jim. 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 Wow. Dang. <laughs> that was instant. That was crazy, man. Hi, Jim. Jim, are you a soldier? Because Jim could be James, too, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this a lady that's here in the house with us? Oh, Jim. 
or Jim. <laughs> Either way, we'd love to talk to you. You can go talk to that device over on the chair over there, and uh, it'll give you a voice to talk to us. Can you tell us how you're feeling? Church. Church. Yeah, weirdly enough, I've never gotten that word. So nice. many names. Yeah. There's two boys supposed to be up here, right? There's yeah. One girl. Oh. Is Billy up here with us? I think Tommy was another one of the names, right? One of the boys. I think Tom. Tom Tommy was. Thomas. Thomas, Thomas yeah. was one of the ones in uh, the orphanage. Mm -hmm. The one that goes under the table. That's a little shy. Oh yeah. yeah that's great. What was the little girl's name that was here? I don't think they know. It might be Alice. It might be. Alice. Alice, were you the one that was caught in the photograph in that room over there? It's me. It's me. Oh, no. It's no Alice. way. It's wow. Alice. Thank you, Alice. Oh, that's that's amazing. amazing. Wow. Immediate, too, man. I know that picture over there has names on it. Is there any of the names that we oh. saw? There is a John Wade, James, James Wade. George. John James Wade or Jack. Ryan. 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 Why is this so what weird? the hell? And the REM pod one. Yeah, immediately at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. Dang. Ryan. I'm, I, I also haven't gotten any of these names before. Ryan, James, or Jim. Alice. Alice. That isn't me isn't so crazy. Jim That's like a about. short nickname for James? Yeah. Yes, it is. What if it's... That James right there. James Wade. James Wade, are you here? Yo, how do we not connect that? Because that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Jim yeah. and James. Yeah. Well, right when I walked in this room, I walked over there and I was just kind of looking at the names because when we went through the tour, we didn't really hear anything about that. So I just kind of wanted to look at that. And... Okay, that's that's freaky though, man. I know. James Wade, and he's like a younger boy. Mm-hmm. Looks like he's probably maybe between like fourteen to sixteen in that photo. Is the Wade family here with us tonight? Oh, wow. Man. We'd love to have a conversation with you, or if you're a kid and you're a little bored, we can play. Don't be afraid. We're not afraid. We want to talk to you. So, I, I want to get this straight. James, is that you that's here? Can you, I know you've been playing, somebody's been playing with these lights. I know you like the lights. If this is James or Jim, 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 could you go touch one of those again? Just walk over towards the chair or towards the the pitcher, the vase. And we'll know that it's you that we're talking to. You know, we don't have much time here in the house. And we're going to move downstairs. Teenager. Teenager. Dude, what if it's... It's the... Jim. Yeah. Jim. Jim James. I mean, he looks like he's between 14 to 16 yeah, years old yeah, in that yeah. photo. That's trippy, man. Yeah. <laughs> He looks like 13 or 14. Yep. Oh, I'm not going to guess what I'm just James Wade. So if, if we're speaking to James Wade right now, the young man James Wade, can you come over and touch one of these red lights as a way of saying, yes, it's you, just to confirm? Just want to make sure that we're talking to the right James. Alice, maybe if this is you, maybe you were talking about Jim. Alice, if this is you, can you touch one of these again? Then we would know that we're talking to you, Alice. 
crazy, man. I mean, I know. The same energy twice to yeah. say Morales. Of all the names it could say. All the words. There's like thousands of words yeah. in a word bank. This was the room that uh, like the Union soldiers were trying to help them out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going through that. I want to go put on the Union outfit. Something just flipped the hell out of my shirt. Sure. It was like this. Sure. My shirt just went... Outfit? Like it just tugged you? Yeah, it went like that. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not near anything to like bump into or... No. That would be a kid's height too. Yeah, and when I was, I was standing, oh, oh. look, when I was standing right here, I felt like I kept having someone mess with the back of my shirt. As yeah, well. yeah. Well, you guys are like literally, if you were a kid and you're pulling out someone's yeah, shirt, yeah, like to get my attention or mm -hmm. something. Alice, were you touching his shirt? Dude, that was right. He said Alice. Right. Fourteen. Fourteen. Dude. Teenager and 14. Dude. You said he looks like he's about 14 like... 14 to 16, to 16 yeah. years yeah. old. I just walked up and I said he looks 13 to 14, didn't I? You did, yep. Yeah. That's crazy. So, Jim, you're you're 14 years old. Can you touch one of those red lights as a way of saying yes, just to confirm it? Oh, Whoa. man. <laughs> man. I know. Thank, Thank you. you. So, oh. <laughs> he's like, yes, yeah. yes it is. I am pretty great. Avoid. Avoid who? Avoid what? Oh yeah, what? <laughs> you know, it's weird. It's almost like. Oh, wow. Whoa. I feel like it could be two, two spirits that are here right now, because. Alice twice is really strange. I've never gotten the same word twice so quickly. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't think I've ever gotten the same word twice ever really on this thing. But Alice and then confirming and Jim, which is James on those pictures, it's like they're they're both here, I feel like. Teenager, 14. Yes. I mean, it's all spot on. Mm -hmm. Maybe the other spirit or entity that's here is trying to say to avoid us. Or we should avoid it. I mean, or what? I was thinking like Alice saying to avoid James, Jim. Maybe. Vice versa. It was interesting to see that we got the name Raymond. A few months prior to this investigation, when we investigated Moundsville, I remember getting an EVP of someone saying the name Raymond as well. Over the course of a few months of working at the theater, leading public tours, and doing private investigations, I've gotten the name Raymond there several times as well, and in my home. I don't know if this Raymond is someone from Moundsville that followed me, or if it's just coincidence. I mean, I know there's obviously more than one Raymond that has lived and died, but it was just interesting to get that name in several different places throughout several months, and it wasn't until I did that investigation at Moundsville when that name started cropping up. I don't know if it was because there were four men in the room and we're dealing with mostly children and women's spirits, or if the haunting is residual. There were a few times the REM pod would go off to specific questions about Jim or James, which could either be the young man in the photo or the father. So there could be an intelligent being that is here, but maybe it's shy or not wanting to communicate with us. I'm also not sure if the energy that we were bringing into the space was off, or maybe it was just an off night, but nonetheless, it was interesting to see that we were getting responses from someone or something claiming to be immediate family members of the original household. We didn't have a whole lot of time to investigate both properties as thoroughly as we wanted to, so we decided to head down to the basement next, which is said to be another fairly active spot in the home. This is where Jenny Wade's body was kept temporarily after she had passed until it was safe to leave the home and lay her to rest in the backyard. James, I hear you're down here, so we've been told. If you're upstairs, if there's anybody upstairs, you can make some noise. Run across the floor and let us know you're here. Or you can touch us, James. We're not afraid. We want to make contact with you. Let us know that you're here any way that you would like. Oh, oh the paralyte. Did you? 
you see is that? Is that, that what that was? Yeah. And blue flicker. Yeah. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I thought I was just seeing oh, shit. I thought when you guys burped or farted, I was like, what? Of course, that happens as soon as I walk out. What happened? This is a weird box of What? That was over multiple frequencies, too. Oh, what the hell was that? What the fuck? Oh, what the hell was that? What the fuck? James, was that you? Can you do that again? Whatever that was? Whatever that was, you share with me. Very strange. That is so weird. Like, what radio station would be broadcasting that noise? Right. And it's sweeping yeah. backwards. Yeah. Yeah. It's it switching him, it? at 200 milliseconds, so it Did shouldn't do that. Are down here with us? We've laid out a bunch of different devices for you. If you can go out and touch one of them and set them off, and let us know that you're here. That'd be great. We just want to talk to you. We're not here to hurt you. We come here in peace. I know a lot of this stuff may seem strange to you, but it's the only way that we can figure out if you're here. Say, watch this. James, we really like to talk to you. We know that you've interacted with people down here before. Can you come interact with us? After concluding our investigation in the Jenny Wade house, it was time to pack up our gear and head over to the Gettysburg Orphanage. Originally established in 1866, just one year after the Battle of Gettysburg, the orphanage was created to provide a home for the many children who were left orphaned and without families as a result of the Civil War. Its original headmistress, Felinda Humiston, created a prosperous and nurturing environment for these orphaned children that was routinely praised by city officials and locals. But this only lasted for a few years until Felinda remarried in 1869 and moved to Beckett, Massachusetts. A year later, Rosa J. Carmichael would take over as the new headmistress and the quality of life inside the orphanage would begin to rapidly decline. Unfortunately, Rosa was a very cruel mistress in her disciplinary actions towards children and even turned the basement into a dungeon where unruly children would be chained to a wall inside a small hole in the dark and left there for sometimes days to think about their bad behavior or at least what was deemed unruly according to Rosa. Every year, the children would attend a Memorial Day parade in Gettysburg to honor their father's lives lost in the battle, paying tribute by visiting headstones and leaving mementos on the grave sites, as well as partake in festivities in the town. In 1876, when none of the orphan children attended the parade, the town became suspicious of Rosa and what went on inside the walls of the orphanage. An investigation was launched and it would soon be discovered that Rosa was severely abusing those children, which would lead to her being arrested and charged with cruelty to an orphan, as well as aggravated assault. She was fined $20 plus court costs and told to leave Gettysburg but she returned to the orphanage and continued her cruel reign over the children. There were rumors of children going missing and even a confirmed death on the property while Rosa Carmichael remained headmistress, though she was never charged with the death of the child. In June 1877, the story of her treatment of the orphans would be published in a Philadelphia newspaper and reprinted in the Gettysburg Star and Sentinel, ultimately leading to the orphanage being shut down that same year in December. The children would be relocated and Rosa was forced out of town, ending her reign of cruelty. If you're out here, I have a toy right here. 
that you can use to communicate with us. All you have to do is use your voice and say something to us. And uh, if you talk to us, we can hear what you have to say. You don't need to be afraid of us once again. Just based on the information that we were given, it seemed that most of the paranormal encounters that happened here happened in the basement. And because we were pretty pressed for time, we decided to focus our attention in this specific area just to see what kind of responses we could get. But also, if you had any part in abusing these children, you need to talk to us. Because people need answers, you know. I think it would be great to try and figure out what possessed you to treat small children that way. I don't think that was very fair for them, considering that they already lost their families and looked up to you for protection and guidance. And you failed them. Yep, and you took advantage of that. That wasn't very nice of you. If you could give us some answers as to why you did that give a lot of people a lot of resolution. I understand that sometimes we do things we don't mean to, but what you did was very intentional. We just we want to figure some things out. Are you here with us right now? Can you make some kind of noise or set off one of the devices that we've laid out so we can acknowledge your presence? Stuck here. Stuck here. Stuck here? Yes. Who, who's stuck here? Can you like, can you tell me who? Are you a child? Are you an adult? You think it's reading the phones, EMF? Should be, because that's temperature, right? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the uh, lantern. The lantern's flickering. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I was told of a girl's name that might be here with us, Emily. Emily, are you here with us right now? Or Alice? Or Thomas? She killed. She, she killed. killed! The, the, the... Rosa. What did you call her? Yeah. The Rosa? To kill children here? Oh, that's spooky. On purpose? Or who did she kill? That's a creepy first response. Yeah. She killed. Didn't children go missing too? And they yeah. weren't found? Yes. Like there was one confirmed death because the uh, the authorities came and picked the body up at some point. But Maybe. 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 After you said authorities. <laughs> oh, weird. I don't know. I'm... I know that there were children that went missing, but nobody ever confirmed if they actually died or not, you know? There's one story we're going to tell you. You want to tell us? <laughs> this was confirmed by a few psychics and mediums that have gone on. You. You. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story. Some of our tour groups have had psychics and mediums going on tours with us, and they all got a similar reading. At the time... That Rosa was in charge. There was a 15-year-old girl that found herself pregnant. It was a big scandal back then, just like it would be today. Rosa didn't want all the attention. She didn't want the embarrassment of, you know, having a child pregnant here at the orphanage. So they had to take care of the problem. So when the girl gave birth, she had them take the girl down here to the cellar to give birth here in this room. And... Of course, to save the embarrassment, the woman gave birth. She only had the baby in her arms for... Guest. Guest. A couple seconds. She gave the baby, wrapped up in a bundle, to a nearby boy, and the psychic said they see the same vision all the time. 
coming back up the stairs, they see the boy by himself, and one hand is the bundle of baby, and the other is a shovel. And she told them wow. to take it out back and eliminate the problem. Wow. Cool. So, Call. Call. Sounds like cold. Or cool, yeah. Cool or cold. Man. That's a heavy story, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the claims is you can hear the sobbing and crying of the mother down here, especially back towards the cellar. <clears throat> Do you know the mother's name? No. No one knows. Did you... Can you, can you talk to us about the... The unwanted pregnancy that occurred, Rosa? What happened with that? What happened to the baby? Intense. Intense. Whoa. It probably was intense. But what happened to the baby? Did you kill it? And maybe if this isn't Rosa, and if it's, if it's somebody that saw it happen can you give us just a couple words about denise denise did we so get that name names. no we haven't gotten denise no. yet i've never seen so many names on this thing ever maybe denise is the girl mm -hmm. right was denise the mother that says the mother and mom <laughs> Brother. Wow. Okay, that's kind of weird, though, how I said it. Yeah. yeah. It says, who was Denise? Brother? Brother? Maybe Dennis? Could have been going for Dennis? Yeah. Or, or could have been trying to say Denise's mother. brother that had to bury the kid? Oh, yeah, or oh. that, too. Shit. Okay, what did, what did Denise's brother do? That's who we're, what we're talking about. What did he do? Do you hear talking back there from time to time? Mm -hmm. I keep talking back it's there. like oh. distant chatter. It sounds like a, a woman or a small girl. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody back there? Can you come forward, please? Table. Table. Yeah. Tommy, are you under the table? I heard you're kind of shy. You don't have to be afraid of us, Tommy. We're friends. We came here, we brought you a lot of different toys to play with. Some of them make noise, some of them light up, some do both. We're not here to hurt you. We want to be your friend and talk to you. He's over there, I see one of those blue lights lighting up, faintly. Flames. Flames. Ooh. Wait, what happened with the... Didn't say burn? There's a fire right above your head. You can see the charred marks. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's this one right here. Wow, dude. That's it, it keeps lighting it's, up faintly? My A's, yeah. Oh, no, I my, see it. My eyes are playing tricks on me, I think, but it looks like it's glowing a little bit. Like every night trapped here. Trapped, trapped here, here again. again. Stuck here, trapped here. Yeah. So, I know not a whole lot seems to be going on in this portion of evidence, but I left it in because of the story that the tour guide shared with us. Flames. Flames. Wait, what happened with the... Didn't the say you burn? There's a fire right above your head. You can see the charred marks. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow, shit. Yeah. It plays a big role in the dual estes method that you're about to see. This is the first time that we have conducted one of these, and we utilized two separate spirit boxes, one sweeping the AM frequency in reverse, and the other sweeping the FM frequency forward, just to add as many variables as possible, just to see what kind of results we could get. The results are pretty incredible. So we're starting the Estes session right now here in the hole. Remember, kids were tortured back here. This was a, a very, very dark place. It's not fair. Oh. Mm. Not fair. You're right, it's not fair. Who's going down? Who are we talking to? Oh boy. 
What? What's He's the... He's looking. He's looking. Where are you? Who are you? I know you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is This is kind of trippy, man. Yeah. I've never done the two for... The news is horrible. What's the news? Which one of us do you know? All right. All of, because of me? Hmm. Killed from the construction. Construction? Okay, let's just let's slow it down, whoever's here. Who are you? What's your name? Rob. I like it. <laughs> Rob? Rob. Hey. Hi. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Dude. How old are you, Rob? Passing by? Rob, can you give us your age? Robert, maybe? Over here, I'm not supposed to play. It's okay, Robert, you can play with us. Can you tell us uh, how old you are? Please go down there. Ooh. Oh, whoa, that was a EMF spike. Oh! Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Whoa, what that, the that, fuck? That, that just said you can come play with us. Yes! Yes, Robert, Robert. Yes, you can come play with us, man. Thank you. Rob, is this you? Are you setting this off, Rob? Oh, no. No, don't worry. It's okay that it's lighting up. That's It's the toy. Yeah, it's good. Yo, what the That's crazy. crazy. Behind you. Uh-oh. Oh. Move. Move. Oh. Move back. He's getting closer. Who's getting closer? Yeah. In the dark. That's just going steady. That's a fresh battery. Yeah, this is crazy, man. Brand new battery. I mean, I didn't, I didn't set this off either. I, mm -hmm. I didn't move. Yeah. It just started going off. Okay, can you step away from this thing, Rob? Please. I'm dead. Mm. Rob, keep moving away. Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. Please. I'm walking it's by. It's the end. Oh. <laughs> That's sketchy. Yeah. I'm going to reset this. Yeah. Holy. In the galley. Okay, if that was you, Rob, and you set this off, you wanted to play with this, can you do it again? You can walk right up and you're totally okay to come play a game with us. Over there. Over there. Do you not want to come in here? Tommy. 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 Oof. Michael. 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 He sees me. So what happened to you? Why do you? Why are you still here right now? Why would you do this? We just want to talk to you. It's as safe as it gets. You're safe with us. It's okay. Can you just tell us what happened to you? Did Did she hurt you? Move on. Move on. I'm fine. Oh. It's like he doesn't want to talk about it. Move on. Uh -huh. I'm fine. Um. What? There was a knock out there in this basement somewhere. Oh, Clear as day. It's like someone went right up to the bench here. Went like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did you just knock? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Seriously, I have to ask, did, did did you die down here? Probably, but I can't. You can't what? 
I'm dead. Oh, 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 wow. You can't remember what happened to you? Tommy. 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 So, how did you die? That's what I want to know. Did she I be burned. Oh! And it said flames are Yes! Oh my god. god. That's crazy. Was it a fire? I need water. It's hot. It's hot. Oh! Dude! No, no way! way That's insane. That is crazy. Okay, so you died in a... Oh, oh my, my god, god man. Or I won't make it. Yo, I have Please. chills, man. Me too. I have fun Me all too. up and down. It's hot in here, but I'm like... Whoa, that's crazy they said the same thing. I'm hot. Next to him. Next, Next to him. So, I can feel it. So you died in a fire. Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what happened? You died in a fire? It'll keep me going. Did somebody set you on fire? Right. Did someone burn you? Exactly. It's so full of wonder. It's so full of wonder. It's the most hot. It's the most what hot. What most hot? You do remember the word trapped. It's gone. Trapped. They were trapped in a fire. Oh. Trapped. Oh, oh. Holy crap. Confirmation. Confirmation, man. Trauma. Trauma. <laughs> so, light that up all the way if you died in a fire down here, and that's why you're trapped here. Oh. No. What the? Oh. Okay, so, what happened to your body after you, the fire? I threw away the what the fuck? Oh man. my god. My body's twitching. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, what ha were, were you buried somewhere or did you completely maybe, burn? Maybe that's why I'm it's burning. Saying, oh my god! <laughs> maybe that's why it was saying water earlier. Like, right. Lake. Right. Water. Lake water. It needs water it to need, fill the fire. Yes. Yo, this is insane, man. This Whatever the hell crazy. is happening right now is tripping me out. And this is just steady going on yes. again. Did you need water? Bye. Did you need water? Is that why you said I lake? I love it. You want to keep playing with this? I love it. You go. You go. Dude, this is f***ing trippy. This is awesome. Okay, so I think... Oh. Why are you leaving? We're not, we're not leaving. I think we've to Stay. Stay. Holy sh**, man, I can't get this out. So, I gotta reset this, man. I'm sorry, buddy. Dude, this thing's going fucking crazy. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, That's so, good. I gotta ask. So, you died in a fire. Can you, can you tell us when this fire happened? Like a time period or a year? Or how old you were? Can you please go out back? Please go out back. Was it the, was he had a baby. They were out back. Ten. Ten! Ten! Ten. <laughs> So you were 10 years old when you burned alive. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> this is so um, crazy. Do you know what year that was in? 19, 18? Go away. Was it after the Civil War? Enough. Feeling this tingling sensation on my shoulder right now. And I heard 807. 807. Could it be trying to say a year, maybe? 
Yeah. No, it didn't really make sense. No, it made no real sense. Can you say the year again? What are they doing? What are they doing? We're just trying to talk to you. Is that okay? Please leave. Oh. You don't want us to be Bad. here anymore? Bad. Is there something here them? Is there something bad here that we should be worried about? Is Rosa here? Someone just jabbed me in the back. <laughs> yeah. We're outside. Outside. Mm. Out back, maybe? Yeah, outside this room. In the back. Oh. In the back. <laughs> this is f crazy, man. We found them. We found them. Who did you find? Like getting this weird mental image, yeah. like a uh, just a darkness. I keep seeing, I keep having a mental image of like a Raggedy Ann doll. There's a doll right there. No. What? Get out of the house so I can put out the fire. <laughs> Hurry. Again with the fire. Yes. What were you saying? I'll show you when we get out there. I'm sad. Should we bring him out too? Let's do like two or three Hurry. questions. Can you tell us how many children died in this building? Leave. I keep hearing like screaming. Like, Hi. Ah! Were you the only person that died in the fire, or did multiple kids die in Go the fire? Go upstairs. Burning in the house. Burning Burn in the house. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the red before we're done. Does this remind you of anything? I can't see anything. Ooh, <laughs> wow. That's very accurate. <laughs> Help me. It's burning. It's burning. What the hell, man? And his headphones are loud as mm -hmm. shit. You can hear him from here. And is there any other details you can give us about this fire? My goddamn stomach, man. Get out. Get out. Get out. Now. What, wow. what where did the fire take place? Yeah, what room was wow. it in? I'll kick you guys out. <laughs> Are we talking to Rosa? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. Any other details you can give us? We're going to leave. That's that. That's that. That's that. Well. We appreciate you talking to us. You're asking for it. Mm. Asking for what? I'm on fire. Oh, oh my god. god. Something just poked me in the back again. I feel like someone's literally trapped here on fire. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like so much fire burning. Water. Water, fire, fire, fire. Oh, what I'm the burning. Hell? Go out. All right, I'm gonna stop. Perfect timing. I'm stopping. Sorry, man. That was There's crazy. Like, yeah, that was f wild. I get this man. weird sensation in the middle of my back right now, and it's not. 
like I have a little bit of back pain on my left side just because of my posture sitting in here, but this was like a pressure, like somebody is indenting a knuckle in my back right now. Mm. Hey. <laughs> like saying, hey. You want to tap him and get him out? Yeah. It's... Oh. I'm tapping out, man. That was really good. That was Something's f***ing touching me again. See? He was saying that too. Is it in your back? Yeah. Dude, I'm getting like this this pressure. So like, mine was like right here, like right under my shoulder yeah. blade. Like someone's like. See, mine is like a pressure. It's like this. And it's it's like out. mine's like someone's trying to get my attention, right behind me. There was a couple times I heard. <laughs> I just heard you guys like very faintly. I just heard. Ah! <laughs> like I guess something matched oh, up. Oh, it was a relevant. Lot Multiple times. Really? Yeah. Like yeah, don't you guys, session, baby. both yeah, of you guys were talking about fire burning alive. We're asking, we're like, and you both said I'm hot at the same yeah, time. Yes, what? both, both <laughs> at the exact same time, and we were like, that's I think when we went, what the f was that? Because that's <laughs> nice. crazy, dude. Man, that was and the REM pod was going off. And really? Yeah, it was yep. crazy, dude. Nice. You guys are gonna watch that footage and be like. There was so much it's going on. Yeah, it's, it's we kept saying like, Did the, Dude, the spirit this is talker. Uh, I guess it wasn't turned on. Huh? Yeah, no. we should have turned it on. But the, the answers you guys were given were so good that I was just like, whoa. Yeah, because <laughs> awesome. you guys also would say shit where we'd be like, so you burned alive, and you'd be like, yeah. And we're like, <laughs> okay, where? And you're like, in the house, I'm burning. And we're like, what the? <laughs> Both of you yeah. guys oh, are completing our sentences. Yeah, crazy. Gettysburg is no doubt one of the most historically significant cities in American history. The Battle of Gettysburg may not have been the last battle to occur, but it marked a turning point in the war that ultimately led to the Union succeeding. Each and every building in this city holds nearly 200 years of history within their walls just waiting to be discovered. While activity captured here may have been few and far between, that doesn't take away from the haunted history that Gettysburg is best known for. Some investigations are more tame than others, and that's just the reality of what we do. I feel it's important to share our findings regardless of how active a location may or may not be, just so you can see the comparison to previous and future investigations and get an idea of what an intense and more active haunting looks like. I do have a follow-up video coming soon that will show you the stark contrast in activity between these two locations and the next two we visited. It's really amazing just how active some of these places in the city can be, and I really can't wait to show you what we captured in that one.